back on Oahu. If you're planning to hike Diamond Head later today, well, you might want to hold off because the popular trail is temporarily closed. Dallas Hansvarish joins us with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Morning, Christine and Ross. Yeah, there's going to be some changes going on with the Diamond Head Trail starting today, where it is going to be closed today and tomorrow. It is going to be open, though, well, partially open for the weekend of the 30th and the 31st, and then it's going to be closed once again from November 1st to November 5th, and then again, the summit will be closed from November 6th to the 19th. Did I get that right, Alan? I think so. That's, yeah, awesome. Yeah, There's a lot of dates to remember, but you know what? You could go to our website, kh12.com, and we're at, we can actually see the summit that's going to be worked on just in the distance. So, Alan, if you could remind our viewers on just what to know, what changes are going to be different when people go back up there. Sure. So, at the, at the very top of Diamond Head, the summit, is a fire control station that is built within the summit itself. It's one of the most unique ones uh, that the military ever built, four levels. People go through that fire control station via a spiral staircase when they visit the summit. Yeah. Um, on top of that is a, is a much later structure. That fire control station was built between 1910 and 1911. Um, but a World War II era structure uh, that sticks up on the summit itself uh, was imposed later. And that's the one that's deteriorating, spalling concrete, creating a safety hazard for people. Um, people climb on it, all these other things. So. Um, we're going to carefully remove that, preserving the, the older structure underneath it. Mm -hmm. So when people go to the summit, there will no longer be something to provide shade, but it also will take away uh, something that's imposed on the iconic profile of Diamond Head when you're viewing it from places like Kapilani Park. So, so it's going to be a flat top. It's going to be a flat top. All right. You know, when you talk about all these different moments, it's it, I just envision it because I do this trail a lot. So it is going to be different when you reach the top. But are there any other threats or concerns going on with Diamond Head Trail that you would like to address that maybe we can do better at? Well, just the sheer volume of people, mm -hmm. right? So that's one of the things. And uh, COVID has sort of brought to light the notion of, you know, people being in close proximity. That was why we closed the crater for an unprecedented nine-month period, right, because mm -hmm. of the crowding issues and the spread. But that also imposes on just the quality of experience for people. So some things that are coming, we're hoping to um, separate vehicles from pedestrians by opening up another tunnel for pedestrians only and leaving vehicles to come in the way they traditionally have. Uh, a reservation system we're working on, so that's kind of the thing that's that's the, that's the way of the future now, right? Getting people okay. to make their plans in advance, reserve it, and by that we can spread people's use out throughout the day by creating time slots, right? To yeah. Create a more quality experience for everybody who visits, so less crowded, um, just better management of people on this singular, you know, ant trail of people going to this one location. Yeah, I get that. I know it could be a little crowded and those ideas can definitely balance things out. Do we see this playing out in early 2022? Reservation system should be launched in early 2022. Okay. The the new tunnel entrance is probably still a couple years off. We've got to figure out um, how to how to deal with the traffic patterns off of Montserrat. You know, we need to drop off location and some some capital improvements to make that a reality. Alan, thank you so much for joining us here on Wake Up Today. Really giving us an idea on what's going to be happening and all the upcoming changes. We're excited to hear about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if you want to retouch on all the different dates that you need to know when it comes to the Diamond Head Trail, visit our website right now at khon2.com. Reporting from Diamond Head, Dallas and Burroughs, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. And you know how Dallas looks? That's how you can tell he does I Diamond, hike Diamond Head, Head a lot. lot. Have you seen my calves? <laughs> exactly. That's what I was getting at. I didn't know how to say it, but Ross said it. <laughs> He's got the biggest, most muscular calves you've ever seen. All right, over.